<laughs> We're recording. I'm waiting. I'm coming. My hair is not getting any browner. Ready. What are you? What Don't worry about this. What are you wearing? You'll figure it out. <laughs> Welcome to Fiber Wrestle. My name is Chip. My name is Aaron. I like to sew. I like to crochet and knit. And you like to watch. Episode 15. Fiber Hustle. Yes, we're taking away the seasons. It's going to episode 15. It's it going to be much better. It confused people, so uh, we're going to go by numbers. Yeah, uh, we'll do it. <laughs> do you know what today is? It is Sunday, March 10th, and it is the time change. I Like, are you tired? Are you tired? Like a typical male, you forgot our anniversary. It is not our anniversary. Our podcast anniversary. Is that today? I got you something, huh? A year ago, we started this journey of oh my the God. Fiber Hustle podcast. It really doesn't feel like it's been a, a whole year. But Did you just stick that match in your mouth? Maybe. <laughs> but uh, we don't eat cake, so I got us brownies. That is candy. super awesome. Okay. Are we supposed to make a wish? Let's make a podcast wish. All right. Don't tell. Ready? Go. Okay. Woohoo! Oh, what you wish for? I can't. We can't tell each other. And. Well, hold on. So, thank you for sticking around with us and enjoying the ride with us. Well, they can toast with us. Because uh -huh. I put champagne on ice. What? That ain't no champagne. Miller High Life, the champagne of beers. <laughs> I okay, knew you I'll wanted, I knew I'll, you wouldn't drink it. I'll have so. my Red Bull. I don't like, you know. Mm. Mm. It's supposed to toast. Mm. I haven't had this probably since 1999. Okay. You drank first. You cheers me and talk. <laughs> cheers. Mmm. Watch her pattern. Let's get at her. Watch Chippy. <laughs> you and that Red Bull, these look very, very good. Oh so my I can't God. wait to uh, so yum. indulge in those. I'll put them over here so you don't eat while we podcast oh and God. people say, why are you eating? Exa oh, God. When I made that brown mistake. When it comes to brownies, we ain't afraid of a brownie. <laughs> but, nope. Okay, so today is March 10th. Big, super exciting day, more than I realized. It um, is. Clocks change and potiversary. And it's my start of my Allison Glass Trinket So Long. How exciting. I'm going to get into that. Be assured. Be assured. So, okay, let's get right into it. Um, why don't you lead us off? I don't know if I should lead you off with this. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is this the sweater that Stephen, what's his name? Stephen West. Stephen West? He shared it in a story, no big deal. No, I posted this on Instagram. He, wait, it's been. He shared it on Instagram? The designer? <laughs> well, in a story. So it's, a not story. Like, it's not like we're BFFs. But um, <laughs> yes, I finished this. I posted on Instagram, what, two weeks ago? We had that snowstorm. I did some snow pics. And. I'm very excited that it's finished. I haven't blocked it. I don't know if I am. If I was going to block it, it would just be for this. Let me do a little stand up here. But yes, I'm very impressed with it. I am way impressed. Yeah. So this is the second sweater that you've done? Yes, this is the second sweater. And I have none. <laughs> well, they say that you, if you knit your boyfriend a sweater, you guys break up. Oh, I. we did hear that. I forget who said that. Someone said it, but if you do it for a husband or something, then you stay together. So we ain't married. <laughs> I'm gonna knit you a sweater tonight. <laughs> we want prenup. We want prenup. No. Okay. Um, but yeah, this is a uh, the Marlon Mania sweater. It's a uh, Stephen West pattern. This is made out of all Hawthorne by Knit Picks. They had a sale. I don't know last summer, and you know I was kind of tiptoeing into the whole sweater thing. So then I, uh, yeah, I made it the, there's too many colors to mention, 
Uh, I did get kind of second sleeve syndrome because I did a lot of color changes as you see and when I got finished with this I was like I gotta do this all again. But yeah it's holding two strands of fingering weight together to get kind of a DK worsted weight and I love I this combination. Love this whole thing. And I thing. love this combination. I love mm -hmm. those the best. The, so anything with the yellow. Anything with yellow. I like yeah, it. I did a little pops of yellow, but yeah, this is more of a purplish kind of color right here. It's a very interesting yolk, when, or yolk, whatever top. When I made it at first, I was like, mm, is this going to look good? Of course it does. But yeah, I am very pleased with it. It's knit inside out, which kind of freaked me out for a little bit, but then we made it work, and it's very warm, comfy. Are I you wore glad, it once you, at work. Are you glad with the sleeve length? I'm happy with the sleeve length. Uh, the pattern has the option to do the Stephen West go up to here, then you can put thumb holes in it. I chose not to do that for this one, just because... You're old. <laughs> okay. So I chose... Not, I am going to knit you a sweater, my love. <laughs> Tell me the size. Um, but yeah, I am super happy with it again. Again, Knit Picks Hawthorne yarn. I think it's going to hold up pretty well. I don't know much about this yarn. I didn't have any problems with it coming apart or colors coming off in my hand or anything like that. So I'm very happy for those wondering. I started with nine inch no, 16 inch circular needles about here. I switched to 12 inch circular needles and then I did, um, oh my gosh, here it goes, Magic Loop for the cuffs. So yeah, I'm super happy. And you can give super a Super jazzed, up. yes. And then I, uh, let me do it like here. I uh, wore it to work once and people... Your ball cap. Most of them, most of them liked it at work. Uh, one girl said it was very interesting. She could tell it was homemade. <gasps> no. Uh-huh. How rude. Here, here's what happened. Here, so see my eyes? I did the side eye. Why would she say that? Because she's... Let's edit this out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Um, no, she's cool. She's all right. But, um... Yeah, so I'm super happy about it, and I am excited to make another sweater. I'm really glad for you. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. Well, I want to do it again. And for me? Because I, I probably for have... For me? <laughs> you said you didn't like this part. That, okay, <laughs> so ever since you did the body, mm -hmm. the yoke started making more sense. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but, um, yeah, I'm super happy, super jazzed. All that good stuff. You should be very proud. I'm very proud of you. Okay. And that's all for you made that. Well, I did make a hat. I think we had a AMA, if you watched our question and answer a couple of weeks ago. I showed a hat. The quality of the, the video on the AMA is pretty terrible. Mm. Well, because we're using Google Hangouts for it, and we were just using the FaceTime camera built into the computer, so. Yeah, so I'm going to insert a picture now from Instagram. I made the Burnaby hat from Brooklyn Tweed, and I used, whoop, there's that high life. I used Brooklyn <laughs> Tweed yarn. This is a core yarn, and I mentioned it on AMA. If you didn't watch it, I don't know what I feel about it. It looks great, it feels good, but I got to the last six stitches, you all, and it just started coming apart like <gasps> cotton candy. It was, and it just irritated me, and I am not like a super tight knitter, but I'm not, like, I don't know, I'm rough on stuff and I, I want to, I want a yarn that's not going to do that. So I don't know if it's all quarry, quarry, quarry yarn or what, but uh, it comes apart really easy. So I don't know if I'm going to use it again, but then people are going to like, just be more gentle with it. But I want something that's rugged. Sturdy. I don't know. But it was a very cool hat pattern. I made it for mother, sent it to her. She loves it. Everything's good. It's just, I guess I got... Almost half a skein left. I can okay, so maybe make something your, else. The cotton candy effect didn't happen until you reached towards the end. Yes, yeah, so it was the very the very last six stitches. That's so weird. I know that's what I thought as well because I was doing the whole thing. Then I was uh, binding. Not, well, yeah, I was binding it off, and that's when it went. Shh. You can like, just show that. I was like, it just. I'm good. Yeah, and that's what I have for. Get that nasty yarn you. off of that brownie. It's not on the brownie. It's next to the brownie. It was on the brownie. It was not on the brownie. Whatever. We're over That's it. That's your brownie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but 
Chip, do you have any, uh, you made that? Well, you know, one of my you, you made that actually made it onto uh, AccuQuilt's yes. um, Instagram, which they <coughs> reached out to me and said, hey, we're really loving and are jazzed about your quilt. We'd love to um, mention it on the, their Instagram. So that's a huge thing for me, considering how much I love AccuQuilt. So I got my first shout out. You got your you shout got, out. I got. I and you got a shout, shout out. out. And everybody's just shouting out. Speaking of shout outs, just gonna say a couple podcasts we've been watching lately. Uh, go over and check out the Wool Patch. They're new. They're from. Well, they're in England. It's a guy and gal. I think it's a uh, Stuart and uh, on. Wait. And and no. Uh, of course you know Stuart's name. No, 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 they're, no, no, no. They're both easy on the eyes. They're both, they're tragic. It's, is it Anya? A-I-N-E. Well, why well, don't worry about how you spell it. Okay, well, I'm just trying to think. Okay, yeah, but, uh... I think it's Anne. I think, I don't know. We'll find out. But, uh, they're very nice. They have a, kind of a short podcast. Stuart owns a store. It sounds like she maybe she was, works there or comes in all the time. She was a customer. Yeah. And now, at least we know that they're, um, vlogging together. And I really, I like their style. They're very, um, they're very informative. I like to see that, uh, hey, what are the new items that they're bringing into their shop? Yeah. So please give them a look. So um, yeah, if you go to the wool patch, just make sure that you say Fiber Hustle sent you maybe in the comments so they know how they're getting all these new fans. Oh gosh. Um, Who else? Uh, Z, uh, Zelda RJ3, is it in RJ3? I've been watching Z lately. She went to Stitches and she mentioned our name. I've been watching her. Oh, and, she was uh, so she, sweet. She was so excited when she saw the, the Liederman Fiber Arts. Yes, yeah. we've used them before. And uh, she does crochet. And a lot of times, some of her videos are just for positive energy. So she's really sweet. People love to give her hugs, it looks like, from her. her oh my uh, God. Things. The one woman was almost breaking down. I know. That's fun. It was very good. This, this one person who she ran <laughs> into. Um, knew who she was and actually was like started to cry and it was like oh that was I mean like they had such a connection yeah. and it was really nice and stitches looked like a good time and Ross mentioned us which we Ross watch Ross everybody knows smells like yarn so we we're kind of like oh he tunes in every once in a while I did a double take um, yeah because yeah. we were watching him and I didn't think we would know. be his fair <laughs> are we too much too extra I think we sometimes but yeah I would say go watch Ross's part podcast smells like yarn but I think everybody in the world already watches that but do it anyways do it again if you haven't been there for a while so that sorry that was my shout out so uh you may continue um, with yours who do I have to shout out oh so, the weirdest thing somebody at work wants me to give her a shout out Hannah Keep watching. Hi, Hannah. <laughs> this girl is like my, if I had a daughter, this is what she would be, because she is a prankster, oh, and God. she's always giggling. I just, I, I adore her. So I enjoy working with her very much. Thanks for watching, Hannah. There's a girl who shall remember, remain nameless, remain nameless, that uh, watches us at work. And sometimes she goes, watch Fiber Hustle. <laughs> Saw this movie. It's just kind of funny. I'm like, I'm doing stuff, and you should be doing stuff too, but you're watching us on the YouTube. But I love her anyways. You know who you are. Oh. <laughs> Let's go to taco time next week. Okay. All right, so, uh, moving along. So, wh Sorry. what have you got coming up next? Like, what am I making? Um... Well, let's talk about it. So we went to the So Expo yes. last weekend, and I got a little starstruck because I saw some local sew liberties, and I also saw some national sew liberties. So one was, where's my piece of paper now? One was uh, Angela Wolf, uh, who, author, teacher, um, she just done, has done everything. I, she was so busy with people that I just, I didn't have a chance to go up her. She looks great in person, looks exactly what you would expect her to see. Um, but she was with, I forget the name of it, but there were, she was with a scissors company. I mean, like they had like a hundred different kinds of professional scissors. I'm trying to, I saw her, I just don't remember the scissors company. Yeah, it, it, it had to be ones. like three booths worth of, was long. of scissors that they were offering. Yeah. But so besides Angela Wolf, uh, of course, there is my lovely Natalie at 
uh, Bernina of Renton. Uh, she sold me, uh, what did we agree his name she was? She sold you a lot. She has sold me a lot. Thanks, Natalie. So if you're in the uh, Seattle, greater Se Seattle area, uh, go visit Natalie at Bernina of Renton. Um, who else? I saw, oh, I got to two other people. So I took my first class and it was the Modern Mariner's Compass Strip Piecing class. And it is, Robin uh, Long is her name. And it, she has a business called Robin Roos Designs. And <clears throat> she came up with a system for making a Mariner star. And unfortunately, I hope there's no, not, not a lot of glare on this. Maybe I should open it. Okay, so we have the Mariner's Compass. And this comes with like 16 different patterns. I mean, it's crazy. But what I, 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 this has been on my bucket list for easy over a year. The reason why I wanted it was because I want to do a Mariner's Compass, but strip pieced, not by doing paper piece. And this paper piecing is going to allow me to do one pattern, but whereas this, when you use the ruler, of course it's a system when you use the ruler then you have all the measurements you can make so many different stars just by making the strip pieces so <clears throat> it, economically it makes many 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 more um, quilts or pillows or blankets whatever you're gonna make so she has a couple of different versions this is the 16 sizes from 6 inches to 36 inches. It's called the Skinny Robin. But then there's also a compa companion that is the Fat Robin. Yeah. You have Skinny <laughs> Robin and Fat Robin. And it comes with its own ruler and its own book. And, oops, I'm sorry, this is the 32. This isn't the 16, this is the 32. This is the, a different one. It's so, like a, it feels good. Like a coloring book. It feels good? Feels good. Yes. Okay, so this is the Fat Robin. So actually she even color coded so you know which you're working with. So you have the, oops. You have the Fat Robin, and then you have the Skinny Robin, green and blue. Both of these will do anywhere from 6 to 36 inches, 16 different sizes, and then you can make, my above camera's not, uh, it's not working. Nope. So you can do multiple, multiple sizes and arrangements. I mean, like, she even had, like, this huge... Mariner's Compass, and then another one, and then another one. It just looked, it was gorgeous. It was really gorgeous. I didn't get to see it, but I no. said it was really nice. So I would, I, I said I took a class. Um, it was 45 minutes, but it was really a 45 minute infomercial, which I already knew going into the class that I was going to buy, but I didn't really learn anything. I just got an overview of what her system can do. So it was all right, but then you know what? There was people, two women behind me that were just talking. She had a Kathy's. During the whole thing. And I still had to pay for my little ticket. And I was just like, are you kidding me? One of the one things that you don't do in any kind of class is talk. Because people invested their time and it's just- it's, And their money. It's bad etiquette. And it was like, and y'all, you'll be proud of me. I didn't say anything. I held my tongue. I was shocked when I, I did that. I did give him a turnaround once, but that was it. But um, it was okay. I was so glad that I got an overview. It helped me understand what I was buying rather than just saying, uh, give me that and some nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, like being at a bar, not knowing what you're, what you're getting. That's what I would do. Yeah, we were there for two days. It was fun. While he went to the class, I got to knit with Rebecca from the Mean Girls because the Mean Girls' mother, Sonia? Yep. 
I guess I want to say they uh, she dragged her her daughters to the So Expo, but they were there and we got to hang out with them for a little bit, which is nice. Her mother, their their mother, is very nice. Um, she is also a quilter, and it sounds like she's ready to get a fire under Ooh. to get more. So she is going to be doing um, a sew along with me, which I will get into. But real quick about the Mar um, Robin Ruth and her. Mariner's Company. Her daughter works for Elon Musk, um, and so she, Robin, made this pattern. Maybe I'll, we'll do a close-up. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll insert a picture. But she made this quilt pattern in honor of Elon Musk, and this was the whole reason why um, I found her was because of this pattern. Because it just it looks like space sprockets, and it's all Mariner's Company's compasses. And I am so, so excited to finally be able to get to do it now that I have the rulers. Yay! One more celebrity that I got to meet was Cheryl Sloboda. Uh, she is with So Much Cosplay. And I really went into the Sew Expo on a mission because I've got the Sew Along coming up. Um, it's Allison Glass's Trinket which starts today. That's the other big thing that happens today. Um, it's a 40 day uh, sew long. You do one block per, per day and you've got all of these beautiful, again, we'll insert a picture, but you've got all of these beautiful blocks and I'm taking mine to the, extreme. to the extreme. I am going to do mine more of like an art quilt and so I'm not giving any of my secrets away but I'm going to be doing a block a day and posting on the YouTube. Nice. So um, I gave a copy of this pattern to, um, I bought two by accident and I gave one to Sonia so she said she's going to do it. I hope she does she it. She better. And Oh, so Cheryl Sloboda, who was at the uh, Quality Sewing and Vac um, booth at the expo, she's like, well, okay, and I started describing the project, and don't you know, she had just the thing for me. So, she, the, she so much cosplay offers, like, ways to make armor, and, like, costuming, and she's like, for one thing, you know, she turned me on to this super structure. It's it's a like a foam that I'm gonna use. Maybe I'm just gonna tear this whole thing apart. This is just a sample. But it's like, it's, it's a super structure foam and it actually, I'm gonna use this in lieu of batting. And so I ordered some of this. Once you see the end result, you'll understand why I'm using this. I'm excited for it. Uh, it what do they call that? Add out. suspense. That's called a tease. It's a teaser. But, um, yeah, so she turned me on to this that, that her company makes and sells. But then she also has this new these new foils that are just, like, way freaking cra crazy cool. So there's, what, you have all these sparkles, and they're not they're not rough. And they don't shed. So, like... You can iron them on to whatever your fabric is and just do like, if you're going to do an applique or if you're going to do some kind of embellishment, like these are really cool. Um, there, it's a heat transfer foil, so you put something a, a little bit over it and then it doesn't get stuck on your iron. Check it out. Uh, I think it was like $7 a roll for these foils. I didn't get any because I wasn't sure if I was actually going to go down that road for this project, mm -hmm. but it's still an option. I can get a quality sewing and vacuum. Oh. Yeah. Again, we're not, sponsored, we're not sponsored by anybody, but, you know, shout out to the people that, that we like to do business with. Yes. All right, so then I'm just gonna go into my other had to have it. Okay. So my ironing, are you, is your ironing board like a huge mess <laughs> at home? Mine looks like skunks were dragged across it that's just it's like, just disgusting like it doesn't smell analogy. but it's just it looks bad so i've been 
eyeing and looking at different ironing board covers, well, I have one of those fat ones. And next to, oh, Janine, yarning you. I was going to mention her later, but oh. we can do it now. Okay, so we went and visited our friend Janine at Yarn and You, who had a, um, a booth there at the Sew Expo. And right next door was this company that sells these ironing board covers. So I'm actually, you cut it to put it your, to uh, make it your own size. They had ones that were this a normal size for ironing boards, but... Mine's bigger, and it was actually a better buy just to get a long piece and then cut it. So you basically put it on your ironing board, and then it it gets stuck to the underside. Um, she recommended that I put some batting on the, on the underside. Yeah. Don't just use your existing um, ironing board cover. But this, actually, she was saying it was created by NASA. That's a big name. Yeah. So, but what's really, uh, this was the same material, she said, that um, the first um, astronauts? astronauts spacesuits were made out of, which I thought, well, that's interesting. Is that why it doesn't get hot? No. So, it will actually transfer the heat back. So, when you're ironing, you're not only really getting the, you know how you have to iron and you do both sides? Well, this will actually force the heat right back to the fabric. So you're, you're cutting your time in half. Nice. I'll probably still flip my fabric just to make sure. But um, there's that. And then... There's more. Oh my gosh. He called this his cod piece. You are terrible. Basically, this goes on your ironing. But, like, what does it look like? It looks like something that would go in my junk. Yeah, it, but it's not. So, no touchy. <laughs> but this is uh, good for when you're um, applicating and you have that glue that you're working with and you have to iron. This, it'll go to the iron, or the glue can go to the um, material rather than going and sticking on the iron itself. Okay. So, you don't use this shoe all the time, just some of the time. So, but wait, there's one more thing that I got, and that is, so then, I got a mirror. Ooh. Everybody needs a mirror, an extra mirror, and it says, ooh, I have good hair today. Now, really, this is a mirror for, um, it's more like uh, fussy cutting and kaleidoscope, so you... Lay your fabric down, and then you can have different views on how it's going to look. You can actually see ahead, okay, if I, if I cut this every time, this is what that's going to look like, rather than trying to make it up in your mind. Nice. So that was a, a cheapy. A cheap one? A cheapy one. Nice. Don't read this. Okay, so that's all my how to have it. And what do we got next? Um, I left something over here, so say hello to the people. Hello again, hello. Should we do what am I making? What are you making? Okay, so I started another sweater two weeks ago. And this is the go-to raglan pattern by Stephen West. Uh, here's the deal. I was gonna either make this or the Montrealer, I think that's what it's called, that everybody's doing these days that has the stripes and everything. And I said, well, I don't wanna go yarn shopping. I already have some yarn here, and that's why I started it. But I'm super pleased right now. It is made out of Malabrigo yarn. There is a, the yellow is, let me see, uh, Frank Ochre. Ochre. Yeah. <laughs> Frank Ochre. Ochre. And the blue is blue jeans. Blue jeans. So, <laughs> aka blue jeans. So yeah. Blue jeans. I am almost finished with the bottom. I'm going to do this color again. Ochre. The bottom. Then ochre. Then I'm going to do blue until I get to about here. Then it swears. Swears? It says. Uh, easy on the champagne. <laughs> I know. The champagne's delicious tonight. Uh, 
Then it says to go to a different color, and I have two colors I'm deciding between, kind of like a, a taupe, tan, or like this orangish color. So I'm thinking I'm going to go towards the orange just to make it pop and look a little bit different. But on each sleeve, you go. So I'm going to go blue. No, I'm saying why don't you have like a, your orange, and then like two different. Yeah. I can try that and see what happens. We'll do one and the other. Was that your Britney? That was my Britney. <laughs> but, um, yeah, sorry. Um, this was weird. Uh, I asked my friend Chris, he's making the same sweater. And he said, yeah, I just knit two together when it came to the brim part. So I kind of had to look it up online. But yeah, you knit like so many inches then you fold it over, which is interesting. It was the first time doing that, but um, I think I did it right. Um, I think I was supposed to change colors when I did the two together, but I did not, so it looks a little bit different, but I'm alright with that. When was the last time you had to make peace with something? <laughs> I'm not doing that joke. Um, <laughs> yes, but I'm excited for it. Uh, I've been just pushing through this thing. No, no. So, he ends up uh, instant messaging on Instagram with... Um, Jimmy, John Boy, what is it? John Boy, New York. John Boy, New about York. What? About how quickly you're going. Yeah, so I'm going. I'm pretty much moving through it. And we said that I don't have to. When you don't have to switch colors and stuff, it goes pretty quick. Yeah. The and you're not doing fingering weight. I'm not doing fingering weight. Uh, is Rio? I think Rios is a DK or a worsted or kind of mixed in between there. Another reason I started that. Is because I started a few things. I got some Hedgehog's Fiber yarn. Are you gonna be a while? Why do you have to go? Somewhere? No, I want a piece of brownie. I'm not talking. Smoke up, Johnny. <laughs> so I got uh, some Hedgehog's Fiber yarn, and I was gonna make this Shockwaves pattern, which maybe I'll enter a picture of it. Mm -hmm. uh, our second camera's not playing nicely. Shockwaves pattern. And for some reason, I just couldn't, there's no, the pattern back and forth, because you have the pearl on the way back and all that stuff. It was, a, there was no pattern, so I had to count and count and count the whole time. Like, you know how things usually get in your head, like, oh, I'm going to pearl five and do this ten times. And on the way back, I do the exact same thing. It just wasn't working for me. So then I switched over to the outline, which seems to be going much better. Also another free pattern on Ravelry from Hedgehog's Fibers. But I think I am not using, I put an Instagram post up a couple weeks ago. I don't think I'm using the right yarn for this pattern. Because it's just not, for how cool this pattern was, I think it's Oracle, Hedgehog Fibers Oracle. For how cool this pattern was, this isn't looking as cool as I thought it should. They can't see it. So, well, I'm going to insert some video over it, okay. and then they'll be able to see it. So, I might rip this out and start over with more kind of neutral tones, and then maybe add a few pops of this. It's a double-edged, it's not a double-edged sword, but yeah, I'm just, I'm in love with it, but I'm not in love with it maybe with this pattern. So, I think it's the right pattern that I still want to do, but just not the right yarn. But yeah. And that is what I am currently doing. I'm focusing more on the sweater than this, but I do want to attempt this. I just don't, I just don't know if it's the right yarn. Have you ever had that? That you just don't know if it's the right yarn for something you're doing and you're like, I'm going to rip this out. Because I don't want to let it sit there for like a year and then I've come had, back and say, uh. I've had that happen in a quilt though. It's like I ran out of the fabric that I picked out and then I used a substitute and it just wasn't the same. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like, sometimes it's like cut your losses and either accept what you're getting or wait until you do it right. Yeah. I think I'm going to rip this out. I'm going to give it another week and decide. I don't know. It's just a shame because I love this yarn and it still is really cool. It's just, it's just not vibing with me in that pattern. But then, like, what pattern is it going to vibe with me? Mittens. Mittens? Kitten mittens? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I can try mittens. But it's also that time of year that you're like, do I want to make a pair of mittens in March? Yeah, but it's easy. Yeah, isn't it instant gratification? You can do them fast. True. 
But what if my hands grow over the summer? Honey, if it hasn't happened in the last 40 some years. Oh, <laughs> Charles. Uh, go back to uh, the expo with Janine. All right, so yeah, I guess we'll go with my, whatever I got. So yeah, when we went to the expo, Janine was there and there were a couple other yarn vendors there. Uh, not because we know her or she's our friend, but she had, I think, the best booth. She, okay. We even had to do a sanity check to, to like, we were gobsmacked at the difference between her stuff and what some of the other vendors... Nothing gets none of the other people. No, it's but just, it was like there was... Janine, you did right. Yeah, it was her, her booth just popped. You walked by and you're like, ooh. And the quality good. was there. But uh, you guys have all seen this before, but I needed three more hanks of The Wizard Will See You for Chip's going to be blanket size dotted ray shawl. It's a shaw. shlanket. It's a, sh a shlanket. So, uh, it's a shawl blanket. It's a shlanket. So basically this is going to be the size of six or seven DK weight year dotted ray shawl. So it's going to be a toga. I can't, I it's cannot be wait. A I just want to be able to wrap myself in it. Yeah, Seamus can't get on that though. Well, he can. Well, he, he can, he can. And let's see what else I got. <clears throat> um, if anybody watched our AMA, our oh question and answer from a couple weeks ago. I'm going to eat and say nothing. People will see, uh, during the middle of it, Chip picks up one of my hedgehog fiber yarns that, my favorite color one that I bought, mm -hmm. and he's like, oh, and then he puts it around his neck, and so I made a comment, says, oh, he looks like it's petting on like a cat. Then he gave it back to me, and it wasn't mm -hmm. a circle, mm -hmm. and there was just a mess. So I said, okay, and I tried to fix it the best I could, and I started winding it. I got like a quarter through, then, then it snagged, and there was this, so many snags, I I don't have a temper or anything, so I was just like, this sucks. So I had to cut it many times. Either I could have done a month and probably done it right, or I was just kind of irritated. So I just started cutting and I made a bunch of little balls. He felt bad enough that he ordered the same color, which looks different. He was there different. for hours. I was there for hours. He was there I for was almost a, a day. Yeah, trying to get. But you were the, the way you were. Twirling it and ripping it. I mean, like, you caused more damage than I did. Why are you making me sound like the victim? Oh, wait, I am the victim. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, he got me a kimono from Hedgehog's Fibers to replace the one that he had a kind of a hand in destroying, which isn't as blue as the one I lost. Like how I said that. But I'm kind of loving this, so I need to find a pattern for that, which he it's took... It's still kimono. Yeah, he uh, got me two of them, and he only ruined one. So that was very nice of him. And um, here's the sob story. My car's in the shop. It's costing a lot of money. I said no yarn, no big extravagant things this year. Uh, and then Serial Knitters, my, one of my favorite knit shops, local yarn stores in the area, said all our black trillium fiber for spring clearance is 40% off. Yeah. yeah, I can't not buy yarn. So on, I went to a friend's house last night, rocked a little bit, and on the way there, I stopped by. You haven't even seen this stuff because it's been in the car. But I got some things from Serial Knitters, and I like black trillium anyways. So here is some Pebble Sock 100% Superwash Merino. It is the colorway of Pearl. So it is kind of a gray, but there's some... There's peach and pink in it. Peach and pink, blush and bashful. Yeah, look like that. My colors are blush and bashful, mama. Um, and then I got a few of these, Ooh. which are called Sundew, Ooh. which I think these will make me Kind of happy. You know what? Kind of shawl. It looks like tulips. It does have a little tulip vibe to it, which is also fun. And then I got some of these. Oh, you've had your eye on those for a long time. Now, these two are star, but this one's kind of close to it and will fit in just well. And oh, this perfect. is a. <sighs> Chennai? Computer. What does C H E N N A I spell? C H E N N A I spells Chennai. Chennai. What did so, I say? 
I wasn't listening. So I yeah. said tonight. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm excited about this. So all these were 40% off, and if you're in the area, Serial Knitters is having 40% off all their clearance yarn to make room for new yarn that will be coming for springtime. They are in Kirkland, Washington. They're in Kirkland, which is uh, pretty close to me, which is good and bad for when you don't want to spend money. Um, trying to think of what else. Yes, so because of the car situation, we're probably not going to. We're not going to ride back this year. What we'll the wait? We still may go to Knits. Is it Knit City in Vancouver? But that's October. So anything that's passports. a day trip. Anything that's a day trip. Um, I'm thinking of doing a men's knitting retreat, which is around Tacoma, and I think sign up starts soon. Is that in the summer? It's end of August, beginning of September, which uh, I've never done a men's knitting retreat or a knitting retreat in general. So um, I I'm think kind of curious need... about it. I think it's a Thursday through it's Memorial Day weekend, Labor Day weekend, Memorial Labor Labor Day weekend. So it's a Thursday through Sunday. Then I have Monday off, anyways. But um, it'll be really nice. I mean, I think you you learn, you get to meet your your squad. Yeah. So um, I think it's gonna be fun. Other than that, the only other thing is. Uh, well, no, I gave you a little card that I picked up at the expo. Which is oh, there's a Pacific Northwest yarn crawl happening May second through the fifth. Thursday and Friday, Saturday 9 to 7, Sunday 10 to 5, your yarn <laughs> yarn crawl your way from mountain to bay. And there's just a bunch of stores on here that I don't know any of them. So I'll have to check them out. Um, I don't know if I'm going to yarn crawl or not, but if anybody I know in the area is going to do it, I'm more well, than it's welcome to, to join up. It's something to do, even if you don't spend. You, you can get to know people. Very true. And we talked about when we were with Sonia and the Mean Girls, we talked about maybe going to Sisters for the Quilt Festival in July. I would love that. Yeah, I think it's like five hours, five and a half hours away, but we have a friend that lives in Bend. Maybe we can stay with or something like that. Cool. Bend, Oregon. But yeah, that's uh, Summer Plan, Summer Things. That's all I've bought. You probably won't see any more yarn for a long time. Because I gotta knit through what I have, unless there's a crazy sale or at Knit City, maybe I'll get something. I don't know. So I am gonna be like, what are you making? I'm gonna do finally, I've got my Fiber Hustle Side Hustle quil Quilting Edition. So with this Allison Glass Trinket So Long, I'm making the promise to myself that I am going to do a block per day and it, it gets uploaded every day onto her website, the, um, just a picture of it. And it's just, it's really going to be a nice drive for me. It's a nice push to make me produce. At the end of this, there's actually prizes for uh, different categories. So there's still a chance if you've got stash, um, you could probably buy a PDF of the pattern. Uh, it starts today. And then, so it's 40 days, 40 blocks, and I'm going to be uh, recording my progress. So Every day, or a few days, or what? So, okay, so here's the weird thing. So a lot of people have been, um, man, they've been making blocks like crazy. Already? Already, and it's been like two weeks that they've been, or two or three weeks that they've been gearing up for this, and getting people excited and join in. I know there's well over 200 people that are doing the solo along. Um, but there are people that are already doing all of these blocks and posting their progress and they've been doing that for like two weeks and I'm like, it's a sew along. Let's sew a long. So I can see getting a couple of days ahead because you never know what comes up. But some of these people are like, oh, I'm finished. That's not a sew along. That's like a... That's a, I finished it along. I finished it along. So no, I'm playing by the rules. Um, I'll probably get a couple of, of um, days ahead and then just post w one a day. But look for that on the channel. Yeah, that's going to be fun. It's, we're going to do a bunch of stuff maybe hopefully this year. Woohoo! Some reviews, maybe store reviews, your quoting along. I don't know what to do on my side, but we're going to figure it out. We'll figure it out. Needle reviews and stuff like that. But yeah. As long as you're along for the ride, we're going to be 
trucking along. And we're going to keep on podcasting. No, we're going to keep hustling. We're hustling, yes. Yes, keep on hustling, hustlers. Yes. Yes. All right, so that's... Oh, no! I got one more thing. Mm. Vicky Neal, you know I love you. One of our community people... Uh, one of our hustlers? One of our hustlers. She was kind enough... Um, to send me some goodies. Uh, I've got the fireman. Oh, you don't want a fireman upside down, do you? I know uh, how I would answer. Okay, so we've got some firemen. And then the funny thing was is that she already saw that I had some of this, but um, she's like, you need more. So of course I need more. And we've got campers. Who doesn't love campers? Happy campers. And then we've got cowboys. <clears throat> mm. And then, oh, that one looks like the dude from uh, the wool cottage, or what is it? The wool path? The wool patch? The wool patch. <laughs> it looks like Stuart. Stuart, where is it? <laughs> There he is. No, that looks like him. That looks like Stuart. Don't I'm not don't flood your basement. <laughs> uh, it's all said and just. So we got some uh, Seahawks. I never had that, so that's good. And then I love these mustaches. <laughs> Delicious. More bigger mustaches and black mustaches. Love it. She was very very kind to send it, and I love that she kept burying notes <laughs> inside. Um, now, she left a little love note on one of the, uh, the pinups. If these guys were real, they, could be, they would be wonderful eye candy. Then she says, if Aaron likes the Seahawks, maybe you can make a project bag for him, which oh, nice. I could do that. And then found the mustaches among uh, so she was gifted these, um, these fabrics. Found the mustaches among other fabrics. If you're not interested, you can toss them. Hope you guys find a good use for the guys and enjoy and sew a knit on. Hope to run into you guys one day when I'm up there. Take care of Vicki. She was so sweet. So Vicki, thank you very that much nice. for the little gift. You can make a magic carpet out of these. So you could take a mustache ride. Oh my God, what? I'm holding for applause. Oh my God, you're terrible. No, no. <laughs> and, oh. Then I got pins. For the, I didn't, I didn't have to buy these. Oh, no, I don't care. So, Robin Ruth, these are for her skinny and fat Robins. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. That is fun. So that is all I've got. That was a lot that we went through. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right. So we're going to podcast again, and you keep an eye out for uh, Chip's side hustle when he's going to do his... Uh... Watch out for the side hustle, and if you like it, subscribe. Yes, like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Thank you again for one year of tuning in to our little techie show. God bless. Cheers. All right. Bye for now. Bye. Thank you.